Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a photo of someone into a stunning portrait made only of words that are special to the person. Open a photo of someone you'd like to use. It can be color or black and white. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Control shift u on Windows or Command shift u on a Mac. We'll make a displacement map of your subject in order to wrap the text around the contours of the face. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Duplicate Layer. Click New and type in Displacement. Then click OK. Since displacement maps work best when they're slightly blurred, go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. I'll blur it 4 pixels. However, depending on the size and resolution of your document, you may want to use a different blur amount. Give your image a similar degree of blur as this. Then click OK. Go to File, and Save As. Save it to your desktop as a Photoshop PSD file and click Save. Now we can close the displacement document since we just saved it. The next step is to isolate the face from the rest of the image. To do this, we need to make a selection around it. There are many ways to do this, however, for this example, I'll use the pencil tool. If you want to use this tool as well, Make your pencil size small and the hardness 100%. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Click the Quick Mask icon so we can draw a quick mask. Draw around the perimeter of the face and shoulders and make sure there are no gaps in the line. Open your Paint Bucket tool and make sure Contiguous is checked. Click inside the Quick Mask to fill it in. If your entire canvas fills with the Quick Mask, press Ctrl or Command Z to undo the last step and carefully check your lines for gaps or holes. Convert the Quick Mask into a selection by pressing Q on your keyboard. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. To refine the selection around the hair, Go to Select and Refine Edge. I did an in-depth tutorial on the Refine Edge feature, so to save time, I won't be going over all the details here. Check Smart Radius and drag the radius to the right until you start seeing a little variance along the edges. If you want to refine it even more, brush over the outer edges of the hair around the head. If it's too much, undo the last step. Output it as a new layer with Layer Mask. Then click OK. Notice we now have a new layer with a layer mask made from the selection. To make a new layer below the active layer, Control click or Command click on the new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with black, and since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. We want to brush black over the shoulders to create a soft vignette. To do this, click the layer mask to make it active and open your brush tool. Make its size large with a hardness of 0%. Carefully brush over the shoulders, making sure you don't cover the chin of your subject. Next, we'll create the text part of your text portrait. If you want to use lyrics, a poem, or any other block of text, open it, highlight it, and press Ctrl or Command C to copy it. For this purpose, I like to use a website called Wordle.net. It creates word clouds from text that you provide. Click Create, click inside the box, and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your text into it. Then click Go. Click Language. 
For this example, I'll make all the words uppercase. However, you can choose whatever you want. Click Font. I'll use Gaudi Book Letter 1911. Click Layout and tick Straighter Edges. For this example, I'll choose Mostly Horizontal. Click Color and click WB for White Black. Click Open in Window and then Maximize it. To get your design into Photoshop, make a screenshot of your entire design by pressing the Print Screen key on the top of your keyboard if you're using Windows, or if you're on a Mac, press Control Command 3. Minimize the Wordle Design window and your browser windows. Go to File and New. Click OK. Press Control or Command V to paste your screenshot into it. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a selection over the inside of the black background and be careful not to cut off any of your text. Invert the selection and fill it with black. Then deselect it. Click the Channels tab. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. At the bottom of the panel, click the small dotted circle. This makes a selection of all the tonal values of your image. Open back up your Layers panel. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer, fill the selection with white, and deselect it. To get your white text design onto your subject, press V to open your Move tool and drag it up onto the tab of your subject. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the face and release. Double-click on the thumbnail of your text design to open its layer style window. Click Drop Shadow. I'll make the distance 5 pixels and the size 5 pixels. However, depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to adjust these amounts. Then click OK. To save space in the Layers panel, click the small arrowhead next to the FX icon. The text portrait will have better results when the text is relatively small. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in. To reposition it, go inside the Transform and move it. Then press Enter or Return. Make a copy of your text by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Reposition it over the face and make another copy. Continue to make a few more copies and position them over your document. We want to start rotating them 90 degrees clockwise. To do this, open your Transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, press and hold Shift as you rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. Pressing Shift snaps the transform to 45, 90, or 180 degrees. Then, press Enter or Return and position it. Continue to add text blocks on your document. Let's place all the text into a folder. To do this, scroll down to the bottom text layer and Shift-click on it to highlight all the layers between it and the top text layer. Then, press Ctrl or Command G to group them into a folder. Make a copy of the folder and go to Edit, Transform, and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Position it, make another copy, and position that. Continue to make copies and position them over large empty areas. Let's group these folders into another folder using the same steps as you did before. 
We're going to reduce the size of the text in the folder, so open your Transform tool again, and press Ctrl or Command-0 to see the Transform's entire bounding box. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Shift, and drag it in approximately this much. Move it in, but position it on the upper left. Then, press Enter or Return. Make a copy of the folder, and move it to the lower right. Make another copy, open your Transform tool, rotate it clockwise, and move it to the upper right. Make one more copy, and position this one to the lower left. To fit it back on your canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0. We'll convert all the text into a smart object, so we can displace it using the displacement map that we saved earlier. To do this, shift-click on the bottom folder to highlight all the folders, and click the icon at the upper right. Click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. Displace the horizontal and vertical scales between 5 to 10. Stretch to fit, and repeat edge pixels. Then, click OK. Click the displacement file, and click Open. The text made a subtle but important shift based on the displacement map's tonal values of the face. Click off the eyeball next to the text to temporarily hide the layer. Make a composite snapshot of your image by first clicking the thumbnail of the face to make it active, and then pressing Ctrl-Shift-Alt-E on Windows, or Command-Shift-Option-E on a Mac. Hide the layer with the layer mask, and drag the composite snapshot to the top of the Layers panel. Change its Blend Mode to Linear Burn, and make your text visible. Lastly, we'll brighten the portrait. Click the Adjustment Layer icon, and click Levels. Slide the input white to the left, to approximately 200. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.